Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more fun videos just like this one. Today, we're going to be making a retro vintage style TV coaster made out of felt. To design this cute television, I drew out a quick sketch, then I took it into Photoshop and turned it into a mock-up pattern. This pattern has been updated since I made this video, so it won't look exactly like this one. I made changes to make the pattern a lot more user-friendly, but the basic design is the same. This pattern will be available on both my Etsy shop and my website. Links are down below. The first thing I did was cut out the pattern pieces. At this point, the television piece should not be cut out completely. We're just gonna cut around the perimeter for now. For the TV piece, I ironed on Pelin Wonder Under to the felt. This is an iron-on fusible web adhesive and it really helps. It'll help attach the pieces together without them shifting around as you sew. Once the adhesive was applied to the back, I pulled the paper backing off. Then I placed the pattern piece on the front of the felt and taped it in place. There are many different methods for cutting felt to get nice crisp edges and hold the pattern piece in place while you're cutting. This is just my favorite method to use. I cut out the inner television screen piece and kind of separated the TV piece from the rest of the felt. At this point, I'm still not cutting around the TV piece. I placed the TV with the cutout screen on the fabric insert to figure out which part of the fabric I wanted to use. The pattern I chose is a vintage 1950s style poodle. I love these French poodles. They're just so cute and so reminiscent of the vintage 1950s style. Once I decided, I ironed on the fusible web adhesive to the back, pulled off the paper backing, and used the pattern piece to cut out the design. Next, I ironed the piece onto a piece of felt for the backing. And this backing piece does not have fusible web adhesive on it because we're attaching the other pieces on top of that. Now this next part may seem counterintuitive, but we're going to remove the pattern completely from the top piece. It's just going to look like a piece of felt with a rectangle cut out. I positioned it over the fabric insert to make sure the screen is straight and everything's even. It also helps to place the cutout screen on top to make sure that everything is perfectly straight. Then I ironed it in place. Next, we'll reposition the pattern piece with tape over all the felt and fabric pieces and cut out all the pieces together. This method will ensure that all the pieces line up completely and with the smaller pieces on top, this is really the best way to get a nice, even, crisp look. Now it's time to add on the knobs and triangles. I added fusible web adhesive to some felt, taped down the pattern pieces, cut them out, and ironed them onto the television. Then I used matching embroidery thread to hand sew everything in place. And that's it. Now we have a beautiful retro vintage style television, which can be a decorative coaster or an applique. Check out my website and my Etsy shop for this pattern and more fun items. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. 